Welcome back, guys. I just want to give a big shout Only donor so far. On it is big underscore whiz. He left a comment says SE2. I agree, SE2 indeed. If you guys want to support this event, please visit the link uh, provided in chat by our generous chat mod, Felipe. Please donate if you want to support Classic or Reyoung. The prize pool will be split between uh, those two players. So if you guys want to support the event and support them as well, give them a little appreciation. I'm sure they'd appreciate it as well. Anyways, Cam, we're going to be hopping into uh, this game in a few moments. But before we do that, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about why they should help us reach that interview stretch goal and how interviews benefit the community? Sure. So for those of you that have not been watching StarCraft II for that long, I will take you back to the olden days, where GSL was a 64-man open bracket, and games were best of one. I remember this. Ah, uh, the good old, good old days. And basically, you had a bunch of Korean players like MVP, Nesty, Fruit Dealer, just champions, Lucera, all these great players that were just kind of dudes on some level, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Because the scene just wasn't that open to foreigners. Right. But it, it's seven years later, guys. The Koreans have moved on. They are all over the world now. And we finally have, honestly, it's weird to think about, but internet technology and just content creating ability in general has really moved on mm -hmm. in those seven years. It's really kind of crazy, because again, I had to download the GOM player to watch GSL. I still have it installed. Me too. But the great thing about these interviews is it really allows these players to be people to us. It allows us to see who they mm -hmm. are. Because really, they are cool dudes. Like, I have been watching the chat between Classic and Ryung when we were scheduling this event, and just the amount of absolute niceties and great things. Mm -hmm. Ryung was wishing people good morning every so often just to be a nice dude. So, like, if we get these interviews, like, thankfully we still have people like Dan Shrine who are doing a great job getting interviews out there, but the more yeah. interviews we get, the better we know these players, and the better StarCraft feels. So, so yeah, definitely support us by uh, going and, you know, donating, helping us get these interviews out there. You can also share any content on Polygon Gaming Channel. Again, you can find that on YouTube by searching Polygon S2. Meanwhile, we're going to be introducing these two players, because here on the bottom left-hand side of Mech Depot Ladder Edition, in the blue Terran Trunks, he's opening very standard, maybe even, dare I say it, a little bit greedy. It's Ryung. And in the top right, trying it yet again with his proxy, his proxy Stargate, it is classic. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Clock shown that would be a pretty uh, impressive mantra so far. We'll see how it works out for him this game, man. Well, but, <laughs> so far it's not. No, no, it's not. Uh, Rion is very, very careful to go take that out immediately. Now, he does go ahead and start building a second pylon before that probe dies. That means both pylons are going to be able to get some production to that Stargate, so it should be able to finish the Oracle Reaper. Not quite able to do that much DPS. Where do you think the game goes from there, Cam? Well, classic has had his oracle scouted mm -hmm. but he's still going with it which is kind of the right play he built the second pylon just to ensure that this would go off right but knowing about this you can see there's already going to be a cyclone out by the time this oracle hits there's no workers at the natural mm -hmm. ramp is walled off like this is basically defended like yeah Ryung has done a good job he's cut just enough he was watching again we just see the adjustments here from Ryung. he's continually making sure that if he loses a game to something, he's not mm -hmm. going to lose to it again. Unfortunately, that would put Classic getting four to three and uh, winning the event. So he's got to he's got to come ahead of Classic at this point. Maybe so. Ryung will be that guy. It's like no, no, it's best of nine now. Yeah, and like later on in the night. No, no, it's best of seventy three. Come on. Yeah, best of seventy three. I'd do it. I'd stay here and play all night. Like watch these guys play all night. I'll be honest with you. Anyways, these Oracle swinging here. Cyclone's doing a great job. Uh, the missile turret's there as well. But Mech Depot's got a lot of open airspace here on the bottom left-hand corner. And it is going to allow Classic a little pocket of safety, but he is not utilizing it. So close losing those Oracles. So, so close. He has lost a lot of the hull damage. How important is the hull damage compared to the shields? I mean, he really... These, these Oracles are essentially 
map hackers at this point, and that's about it. They're going to drop stasis wards, they're going to revelate, and even revelating is kind of dangerous. Is it revelating or is it revealing? I believe it's revelating, and you know what? It is now. Okay. Regardless yeah. of what it was. But again, like you see, he's poking in with these oracles because he sees that the army is taking out that foxy pylon, which means, mm -hmm. like, he can just pressure. Again, that oracle not going down, but finally, <laughs> this oracle should die. So give us at least one, but... Every time I see an oracle die, I think of that scene of, from Game of Thrones. It's such a pretty picture, like, honestly. Like, the, the oracle just explodes in this beautiful green shatter. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, like, Ryung, again, I was mentioning that this is a very thin build and the Terran has to cut stuff to survive it. And you saw, like, he stopped making as many workers, he got the missile right. turret out ASAP, because he already had the engineering bay, that's another mm -hmm. adjustment he made this game. Like, he had the missile turrets ready, he had the factory up a little bit earlier, and again, just cutting small little things. And again, Classic basically skimmed it perfectly, and now he's got the ability to pressure. Well, Classic does not have a third base taking yet. It feels like he normally is, like, either taking one or positioning to take one. Right now, he's not doing either of that. Yeah, I mean, that is the one thing. It's just, like, you see all this pressure coming out from Ryung. I think he made us go for the kill here. Well, that could definitely be the case, man. We've got a stasis ward position, though. He's careful not to die to it, like, in the last game. Loses that reap, but the Cyclones are there to punish any uh, stalkers moving too far forward. Yeah, but there's a Liberator in the main, which means Classic mm -hmm. has to lose some of his army to pull his... In oh, Ryung moving the Liberator into the woods. Yeah. Just being even more annoying. Dude, that is so broken. That thing's like peeing on a bush, man. Yeah, no, seriously. I, I learned about this spot and actually GG as soon as I lost to it. Uh, Classic going for a bit of proxy <laughs> gateway shenanigans, trying to warp in some units here, but... Ryung, again, just on top of this. Like, he's yeah. trying to get another pylon up to hold this, but, like, the stalkers are already dead. There is no orphan. I'm kind of pulling for Young man. Just these, uh, the ability to adapt is so strong in this guy, Classic. Oh, oh my god. Trying to knock back, but... Look how... Was. Did you see how sick that was? Yeah, dude. He left the exact amount of units he needed to kill that pylon and pulled everything yeah. else back. Literally, the, like, as soon as that cyclone died... Like, the last couple of shots had just killed off the pylon, like... Just Dude, literally... It's like, running away as, like, the projectiles in transit. Like, slow-mo James Bond style. Yeah, like, you just see Ryung is literally just playing, like, pretty much on the edge. Like, a couple more mistakes and, like, he loses just a bit more or he starts taking enough damage. But he's literally just playing, like, right on that fine line. And now Classic trying mm -hmm. to take a third just to stay in this. Yeah, Classic doing a great job, but he's economically a little bit behind. He's five workers behind, and that's not even counting in how awesome mules are. Yeah, and you even see, like, look at the adjustments Ryung has made on a game to pay basis. This fucking little mine, Jesus. I'm sorry mm -hmm. I said a bad word. I was just shocked. Like, he blinked into it, which means he has no blink to dodge it. Yeah, dude, it's okay, man. We are the free speech organization. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Stasis Ward, uh,. Definitely his friend, but there's just no wards here. He does try to do a reveal, but when you're inside your opponent's main, I don't think revealing your opponent's the the, the right move. There. Yeah, he does pick off a widow mine with that revelation, but again, it's more energy. But again, though, look at the adjustments Ryung has made. He knows he can't push yeah. out against all these blink stalkers and all these oracles, but he also knows just how ahead he is, and so. Mm -hmm. Like the instant these oracles try to do anything, like there's widow mines everywhere, and you see right now, like. This pressure just not working. No, nah, dude. I think both of these players are showing, like, textbook amazing player. The classic just eking out the smallest advantages every step of the way. We do have a drop coming by Ryung, though. We'll see if he can uh, do anything. It looks at like classic going ahead, dropping three stalkers there, knocking that before it even begun. Yep. And that would of mine drop will be turned right back around. Again, you just see Ryung is just... He is pushing out now, which means this is where Classic is going to try to go for what he was going for before, and these Liberators are going to fly into these Stalkers. Mm-hmm. Oof. Dude, this is so phenomenal. Guys, if you are enjoying these games, please share it with your friends. Let them know that these games are going on. Classic definitely earning your respect here. He does blink in, getting a great attack off on the Command Center, forces it to fly off, and the Ryung pulling SCVs to stay alive here. There's just not enough army 
in this position. His army is on the other side of the map, so these SCVs are going to fall. And while these starters do blink out, there's only four of them left. Ryung's got to make something happen here in the natural of Classic, and he is actually picking off a huge amount of the army, but there are Dark Templar here, and no units here to reveal. He's got to continue using scan, but that is not going to be... Not going to be a problem. Classic. Yep, exactly, man. Classic. Dude, I really thought um, Classic had that. I did not realize there was another reveal left, but that's game-breaking right there, man. No, I understand you, man. I am almost speechless, too, at this game. Like, like you, you just see how Ryung's playing this series. He's constantly adapting to how Classic is played. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, eventually Classic's going to run out of tricks, right? Right. I mean, he Classic went for the same strategy. Ryung deflects uh -huh. it. Classic tries something a little different. Ryung adapts uh -huh. to that, too. And then uh -huh. they go for a base trade, but uh -huh. Classic has just runs into so many mines and he just keeps losing unit after unit he finally desperation warps in some dark templar and he loses yeah. two of them to widow mines and there's a scan to kill the third it's just too much it is indeed man and a couple of people in chat asking if this is live yes indeed with js725202 are live if you're enjoying the stream let us know in the chat thank you so much i mean this is <laughs> This is a better series than I could have even hoped for. Yeah, dude. Honestly, whenever we were telling people that it was Classic versus Young, everyone was like, oh, Classic's gonna, like, he's so much better. But I think Young's really clawing, like, at, at Classic saying, no, I want this money, man. It's only $80, but I want it. I want it bad. Are we on commercial? No, not yet. Good. I didn't want to be on commercial because this is an amazing series. <laughs> exactly um but this is uh this is where things get interesting so we've got two two i believe that's the score right um it's completely tied we're about to be going into game number five is, that is, is that correct right? yeah man so this is where things get interesting guys i think we are all surprised by our young's performance so why don't we all Open up our Android phones, go to the application StarSense, link is in the uh, chat if you are uh, not familiar with the program, you can download it there. But use your Google Play Store, download this and vote who you think is going to win. I put Classic, I've got too much pride on the line to change it, but Ryung is really convincing me, Cam. Yeah, my phone is dead because I kept trying to figure out who to vote for and I kept staring at the screen. And then eventually it just ran out of battery. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.